Hello, medical student everywhere. My name is Dr. Abu Abayda Abella from Najran University College of Medicine, Pathology, Pathology Department. This is going to be very quick and concise talk about pathologic calcification. And I will go over this point as you see here. The first one is definition, types, and causes. Lastly, what are the morphological changes which will take place in pathologic calcification? Let us start by the first point here, definition of pathologic calcification. It is an abnormal deposition of calcium salt in tissues. So this is an abnormal deposition of calcium salt, which might be intracellularly or sometimes it might be extracellularly. So this is an abnormal deposition of calcium. So this means that there is normal deposition of calcium in a specific tissues, actually in bones and teeth. Only in bones and teeth. Let us write it here. Bones and teeth these are only the two tissues in which there is a deposition of calcium so let us go over the next point here types of dystrophic calcific types of calcification actually we have two types number one dystrophic calcification which take place in dead tissue and metastatic calcification which take place in healthy tissues and actually this is very important table which might help us a lot in in I mean differentiation between the two points let us start by the features the first feature here deposition of calcium actually in dystrophic calcification this deposition of calcium will take place in dead tissue and degenerative tissues only while in metastatic calcification it will take place in a healthy tissue so the next point here which help us a lot in differentiation between the two types actually serum calcium level as you see here in dystrophic, in dystrophic calcification, the serum calcium level is normal. That is to say, there is no metabolic disorder affecting the calcium. So here you see that the serum calcium level is increased in metastatic calcification. This, mean, this means there is some metabolic disorder or dysregulation of calcium. So this is very important to differentiate which of which. Let us go over the third point here. As you see, causes of the two types are totally different for example dystrophic calcification will be presented on top of necrosis or thrombosis or hematomas and granulomas as you see here granuloma hematoma thrombosis and necrosis while metastatic calcification will take place when there is high calcium level whatsoever the cause of this high calcium level may be hyperparathyroidism due to uh, adenomas or any other tumors or maybe for other causes like multiple myeloma and other things i will talk about them here in the area of causes let us go over the last point which differentiate between the two types it's the mechanisms so as you see here dystrophic calcification will take place in alkaline media which is a media in a dead tissue so you know that when there is a dead tissue the ph will be increased here in this dead tissue the pH is increased and you know that calcium salt will be precipitated in alkali media that is to say in high pH so let us go over the mechanism in metastatic calcification as you see here hypersaturation of the serum so you know that the normal serum calcium level between 9 to 11 gram sorry milligram per deciliter milligram per deciliter so if this is for example the serum and you know that the concentration of calcium here uh, is exceeding these two points, most probably there is precipitation of calcium salt. So this is due, this is due to hypersaturation. Let us to say for the to make life easy for you, here the mechanism is due to abnormalities in calcium metabolism. While here it is an abnormalities in tissues. So there is change in the pH of the tissues hence this normal level so let us go over the causes we have already talked about these causes but maybe we have to add more for example here for dystrophic let us say d for dystrophic calcification and actually here furthermore for example tumors you may find calcification in tumors like meningiomas 
papillary carcinoma of the thyroid or ovarian carcinoma. I will talk about it here in the morphological changes also. Or any inflammatory conditions. Because you know that in inflammation there is some sort of necrosis. Or sometimes there is granuloma, especially in tuberculosis. So these are also causes which, um, in which there is dystrophic calcification. So let us go over the next point, which is metastatic calcification M for metastatic calcification. So these are the main type, I mean hyperparathyroidism and multiple myeloma. Uh, and in any cause in which there is high level of calcium, you will find metastatic calcification. For example, lytic lesion due to tumor. If you have a tumor in bones, this is a bone. And there is malignancy here, lytic lesion, which will uh, make the bone here resorbed. So there is release of calcium and phosphate from the bone due to this tumor. And this will result in high calcium level. So this high calcium level may be precipitated in specific tissues like kidney or heart muscles or whatsoever. So there is a lot of tissues in which there is, I mean, metastatic calcification will take place. So this is the most important point, hypercalcemia. So let us go over the last point here. You see, it is the morphological changes which take place in the two types. And actually, when we say morphological changes, you know that we have two points here. Number one, macroscopically. Number two, microscopically. Let us go over the first point. Mic macroscopically, you will find that calcification is a white sandy grains just like sands in the tissues when you when you i mean touch it just like sands it is white color but under the microscope it will be bluish so here under the microscope it will be blue blue plaque like this okay maybe very small maybe larger but sometimes you may find telltale sign here which is called like this it's called zamoma body the moma bodies which is a telltale sign which tell you that there is calcification telltale sign for calcification what is the moma bodies it is a laminated calcium deposition like this with concentric here point in which there is uh, more than one layer over over it like this so sometimes you may find the moma bodies in a specific type of tumor which will give you idea, it will help you a lot in diagnosis. For example, meningioma, in meningioma, or in papillary carcinoma, pa papillary carcinoma, papillary carcinoma of the thyroid, or papillary car carcinoma of the uh, ovaries. Both of them you may find this, the amoma body. Maybe these are the most important point about this topic. Thank you very much for watching.